This one is don't hurt you, so. <laughs> hey, welcome to part two. If you missed part one video, we discussed Beyonce's um, Lemonade album mm -hmm. and what people had to say, how to be how reacted, our thoughts, our new thoughts, and everything like that. So if you missed that video, check it out. I'm not talking about the one from Saturday, I'm talking about the new one. Check that out. Um, if you're watching us for the first time, please make sure that you click that subscribe button. And for everybody else, including yourself that's new watching, please make sure you click that thumbs up button and please share this video to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever you like to share our videos like Lipstick Alley. Shout out to the alley. Um, Birdman. That's the first person we're going to start with because on Friday, <laughs> I was minding my business. Oh, you know. Geez. Yeah, I mean, Birdman, he walks in with a group of about seven guys, like he was walking on stage at the BET Awards or something to work. And I mean, he went off, just letting them know. He went off with all three of y'all. Y'all want to respect me. Yes, at the Breakfast Club with Charlamagne, Angela Yee, and DJ Envy. And I mean, it was no more than two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> the, no more than two minutes. The shortest Breakfast Club interview in the history of the Breakfast Club. Yes. Birdman was just upset. I don't know what he was upset about. I don't know the backstory. I still don't know. But obviously, they didn't put respect on his name when they talked about him in the past. So he came up there to talk to him like a man and to let him know. you going to put some respect, respect on my name. On now, is y'all done or is y'all finished? <laughs> and then he was like, he was like, I could have rolled up on you a couple weeks ago when I knew you was out. But I wanted to talk to you like a man. Fake, fake. And then, you know, Charlamagne said, well, did you roll up on uh, Rick Ross and uh, <laughs> no, Trick, Daddy. Trick Daddy like that? Don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, don't worry about don't that. Worry about I'm coming to you. Coming <laughs> that, which is cold word for, no, I did not roll up there. <laughs> but I'm going to hit you in that. Like, don't come to the little man. Like, like Charlamagne really stood up and defended himself. And I'm proud of him for doing that. Well, he defended himself, but he defended his group. Because DJ Envy ain't say nothing. Nothing. And <laughs> Angelo really? and Daphne ain't say nothing. <laughs> but DJ Envy, see, you got it good because you're on the other side of the table. <laughs> he don't never say nothing. Nothing. DJ Envy don't never say nothing. It's always Charlamagne. And one thing, somebody's going to hit Charlamagne because he's the closest yes. one. So, you know, Charlamagne, but Charlamagne, like, you, you did your thing. You held it down for your thing. And I heard channel and, and I heard that Birdman apologized to them for not giving them an interview. I don't know what set Birdman <laughs> off but Birdman you really had to be the donkey of the weekend. Not the donkey of the day. The donkey of the weekend. Because everybody was talking about this and made me not about in a positive it. way on your side. It's all negative. No, nobody defended him. You can't defend that. Mm -mm. Now I can see if you want to come up there and make threats, <laughs> you got to be good with it. Like let it be known that you fucking serious. You got to get up in his and face and tell us why you yeah. making these threats. Because we all were confused. <laughs> and then you, and then he got up and left. Now is y'all done or is y'all finished? <laughs> Now, is y'all in the house done? or is y'all home? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay. Birdman, you fucking true right. He did. When I watched that interview, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> is this a comedy skit? Listen. Are they trying to reincarnate, to go back. Re recreate Kim the Shadow? Are you true? Can't raise a man. <laughs> Say true, right? You can't raise a man. No, you can't. <laughs> can't raise a bird, can't raise a man. I mean, what is going on? Oh, that ain't like going to practice stuff to them all. Mm. But, and I hope nobody come on this show trying to. If anybody. We just got to take it. <laughs> let it take we ain't going to have no trick, but you know what I'm be thinking? Famous, while going they off telling off. us off, I'm going to be thinking dollar signs. Because yeah. what's the right answer? Yes! <laughs> keep on, keep cussing me out. Yes, because they cursed the fuck out of us. But I said, hey, it's essence. I said, I oh, know, that's cute. You might get a nice little check next time. Um, <laughs> I was <laughs> Oh, Kevin, humble yourself. Because you're not humble. Humble yourself. <laughs> Baby, let me tell you something. If you've been through what I've been through, you can't tell me I am. Okay? 
So you ain't seen <laughs> like I see them. <laughs> um, little Kim, little oh, Kim Kim's with an Kimberly. S. Kimberly, <laughs> Kimberly, Kimberly, <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> Kim, you tried it. Kim's I gotta drop my feet. Switch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she's an anxious child. Kimberly, <laughs> she, you really <laughs> tried. And Patty Jackson from WDAS went off, went in, and posted the pictures of everything. <laughs> and what'd she say? Because yeah, Patty, Patty, Patty is not even like, like that. that. Yes, that's why when I saw that, I said, Patty, you tried it. <laughs> Patty Jackson! Patty Fonz is good and no everything! <laughs> Remember when little Kevin used to look like she did on the right? She meant the left. Mm. What has she done to herself? I can't believe this transformation. Why, Kim? Why? Patty Jackson, you mm -hmm. tried little Kim forever. Mm -hmm. And ever and ever and ever. For those of you that don't, that don't know who Patty Jackson is, she's a very popular uh, radio DJ here in Philadelphia, WDA SFM. Okay, she has a very distinct voice and she uh, interviewed us. Well, she was. A, we were all a part of this panel a few months ago last year, um, regarding uh, um, minor in Hollywood, the things that we see on TV in Hollywood and Black Hollywood in particular. Mm -hmm. So, um, shout out to Penny Jackson. But you know, Penny Jackson usually don't get into stuff like that. No. So for her to post that, I was like, wow. <laughs> I mean, everybody. I think even myself. Like, I'm kind of not kind of, but I'm just disappointed that. You know, maybe her parents didn't tell her that she is enough in her own skin. And she shouldn't have to change her skin color just to be accepted by another man. Because someone posted this quote that Little Kim said that, you know, people would just cheat on her. And she noticed that they would cheat on her. People that, that she was cheating on. How, how can I say this? The people that the boyfriends cheated on her with were like European looking. Mm -hmm. So she's figured that she had to be different from any other black woman. But, you know, I also feel that, you know, her low self-esteem and people telling her, hey, Kim, get your cheeks done. Do this. Get your ass done. Get, I don't know what other work she has had done besides the cosmetic side. <coughs> I don't think little Kim was perfect the way she was. She didn't need any of that done. And it's a shame that now that we talk about little Kim, it's always because of her face, about her body, and not because of her body of music. And it's really, really sad that we have to sit here and discuss this. But I just hope that women out there, they love the skin that they're into. And they are not having to buy bleach to change a color. Now, I mean, I understand you might want to change a blemish. But when you have to go to wanting to change your whole skin color, something is not right. Now, I remember being a kid, I'm like, you know, I thought that, you know, people always like the light skin guys because girls always to go off and I'm telling you, what the fuck was that? I don't know, maybe I don't know but it's a lot of stuff flying in here. <laughs> <What? That's not laughs> but girls always used to go for the light skinned boys at school and then bitch, you know, when I was growing up, like, ain't nothing like dark skin or brown. Ain't nothing ain't nothing like anything, but sometimes question. Yeah. The first dick you ever had was a light Wait a minute, you skin. went there and I'm not gonna do this today. <laughs> Look at that dust! It's okay. I'm gonna I'm clean the fuck. Yes. Oh my god! It's it is like thick dust. Okay, I'm gonna clean it tonight. I'm gonna clean it tonight. Oh, my that's not funny, Kevin. I'm gonna clean. That's it. what you see flying. Okay, I'm gonna clean the <laughs> silver fan. So yeah, I mean, but yeah, you know, you threw me off. <laughs> no, this dust. But it's good. Me. It's good to just be love your love your skin. Skin right. And love the fact that being yourself is the best thing because being black, period, we come in so many beautiful shades from white, white to dark, dark, as dark as this table, bitch. And we're beautiful. We're beautiful people. And you should love it and not want to change your skin just to be accepted by some other man or some other woman or just people in society, mm -hmm. period. And it's just a bad look. And I remember Sammy Sosa, he was a brown Dominican man. And now he... Wasn't that horrible what he did? Oh, this looks horrible. It's horrible. To oh, not even skin. love your own skin. Oh, love your skin. What's that dub? Love the skin you're in? I think that's what they say. <laughs> but it's true. You have to love your skin. Dark, 
Beautiful like, people, don't, don't love it. Yes. Beautiful. Wait, that's I don't know. I don't know. That's from Crooklyn. Listen. Oh, when she was in that uh, when they, they was watching TV commercial, the man doing that from she. Shout out to Crooklyn. Shout out to Spike Lee and Crooklyn. I just I just want people to really get that part together. Like, if you want to upgrade yourself, you can always upgrade your hair, upgrade your wardrobe, make yourself look a little bit better. But don't think that oh I have to change my skin color just to be accepted. That's just wrong. But you know something, you know my mom, you she be like, if people want to go and do that, let them do that. If they make them happy, let them be happy. But why can't they just be? Why can't themselves just be enough? Why should they have to change their physical appearance? Just to satisfy other people. You shouldn't have to do that. Well, you know, while I agree with you, and I don't want you to think I'm not agreeing yeah. with you, while I agree with you, there are a lot of people that do that not to satisfy other people, but to satisfy themselves because they look at themselves as not being worthy or not being cute enough or not being important enough. And so, to me, it feels like a lot of them do it because they, when they look in the mirror, they want to see something. Like, like when I look in the mirror, I want to change a few things too. But I don't want to go to that drastic measure of cutting, you know, having something cut to change or doing this or bleaching this. I don't want to go through that. But other people, in their minds, they don't see that. Like, there has to be something that was going on in Little Kim's mind to make her transform to 1997's Little Kim to 2016's Little Kim. There had to be something over these past 19 years that was making her... Feel, feel like way, what yeah. was going on, what she looked like then just was not, you know. Yeah. Same thing for Michael Jackson. Mm. Michael Jackson, when he died in 2009, did not look like the same Michael Jackson from 1980. He didn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have changed my physical appearance. I, I, I mean, Michael I'm Jackson just totally changed. changed his, I mean, mm. totally. I guarantee you, if somebody was born in 2000, in 2000, if you were to show a nine-year-old in 2009 a picture of Michael Jackson from 1980, they probably wouldn't even know that was the same person. They'd probably be like, oh, that's not Michael Jackson. Because he just totally, and you'd be like, why did he do that? What the hell is going on? Yeah, I think the main thing, you know, is the vitiligo thing. And well, yeah, they say the vitiligo, you know, you know, uh, you know, well, you know, some people say that he didn't bleach his skin. Some people say that was totally vitiligo. I mean, I don't know. I can't speak on that, you know, but... Listen, Michael Jackson just totally looked. Yeah, I know his. He was different. very insecure about his nose. He just—that's one totally, thing I do know about. But I was trying to figure out how was he breathing, and I'm not trying to be funny, but how was he breathing? His nose was so little. Like how can you? It was so little, Kevin. Oh, the nostrils were so little. Like how was he breathing through that? Like it had to have been. I wonder if him talking the way he was talking had anything to do with him breathing, like his breathing. I had, a, I had no idea. I don't know. It's just some people just don't see the beauty in them. While you and I may look at them and say, why would you ever do that to yourselves? You know, it's you. It's like we have to be in their shoes to understand what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like some people, I, 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 some people who, like just prime example, you got a lot of people out there. Now all of a sudden it has gotten this whole big trend that everybody works out now. Everybody works out. Everybody's at the gym. Everybody got gym memberships. I mean, everybody's. Everybody's at the gym. The gym, 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 gym. There are some people who are at the gym all the time and they're healthy and their bodies are fit. And they may look at you and I'm like, why would you ever want to walk around with a stomach? You know what I mean? Whereas though you and I may look at it like, well, you know, it can, but I don't see nothing wrong with it. But to them, they're like, oh, I would never want to walk around looking like that. I would totally change something like that. And I think that's the same way with these people who change their images. Like, oh, I can't possibly bear to walk around looking like this. I got to change this. I got to change it. And, you know, whereas though we look at it and be like, well, I don't see nothing wrong with you because it was really nothing wrong with little Kim at all. I don't think there was anything wrong with her. She was very beautiful. There, I, the image that keeps popping up in my head was when Diana Ross was bouncing her titties. Yeah, I, I think she was that. beautiful right there. Like her whole image was just beautiful. Nineteen ninety nine. She might have been a little slutty dressed that night, but yeah. she was just beautiful overall. Like she was just beautiful. Now, but, but you know, yeah, little Kim. This, yeah. Shout out to you know the shout out to shout out to Jennifer Lopez because that is a naturally beautiful woman. I don't care what nobody says. Because a lot of people say nasty things about her all oh, no. But when Jennifer Lopez takes that makeup off, she's still beautiful. And she's, you know, she's a bonicois, but she's still a beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's still a beautiful a woman. woman. Mm -hmm. 
And with or without the makeup, Jennifer Lopez is still a beautiful woman. And anybody who says that she ugly is just a bona fide hater. Because Jennifer Lopez is not ugly. And Jennifer Lopez always slays on the red carpet. I mean, always. All. I would love to know who her stylist is. It has got to be God himself. Because Jennifer Lopez <laughs> always slays. Mm -hmm. You get sometimes, like even my girl sometimes, you be like, Beyonce, why did you put that on? Like, who told you to put that on? But Jennifer Lopez always slays. I mean, she always. You be like, oh my God, you're pushing 50 and you just be walking out here slaying these girls half your age. Like Jennifer Lopez, I don't know who your stylist is, but never, ever fire them. Never. Because they are making them coins that they are making working with you, okay? They are making the coins. She always slays. And it's like, Jennifer, you don't ever look bad on her. It's like every year her her style gets better and better. And, and she still moves great to be free. And she still, I mean, Jennifer Lopez is a bad bitch. She really is. You got to give it to her. You have to give it to her. She's a bad bitch. And like I said, anybody who says that she's ugly with or without makeup, you're just a hater. Because I don't think she's ugly at all. I think she's a very beautiful woman. And she's naturally beautiful too. Okay? And that is still her same face from all these years. That is her face. And that's no shade. That is her face. Her face. <laughs> so, um, there was a... Uh, on Thursday, you know, I've seen it. On, on the news on Thursday. It was like a breaking news story, but it wasn't, I didn't know that this story was going to go that viral. What happened was I heard that it was just like a normal fight at school, but someone happened to die. I didn't know if it was self-defense. I didn't know what happened. Um, and then I, I seen it trending like, rest in peace, Amy. But you know, when Prince died, it was just so much going on that everybody was, everybody was going crazy. So I really didn't pay the story that much attention at that time. And then I watched a video from Ashley Shaw Miller, who's also on YouTube. Shout out to Ashley. Ashley made a 15 minute video and Ashley went the fuck in. Like, Ashley go in on stuff, but I've never seen Ashley go in like this. Mm -hmm. Ashley bitch, you went the fuck off. And it, and it was rightfully so. Um, this girl, um, we still don't know if, if the girls just jumped her just to jump her just because. Mm -hmm. Um, Amy Jordan, she was an honorable student at school. Uh, everyone, she was really liked by everyone. And the story was that she was attacked in the bathroom by these group of girls because I guess one of the girls and her liked the same guy, so it was a big fight. But there's a video that was recorded because you know some dumbass always like to record things instead of helping. Or maybe that was one of the people who were part of the group attacked her. They recorded this girl getting attacked. They had her on her knees with someone pulling her hair. Do we have hair. to talk about how she... I, don't I just... Talk about how she was I don't want to talk about it, but I have... If you've never heard about it... No, no, no. I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about how she got beat up. Or... Because then that goes into how she died. Yeah. I mean, she got beat up. That's all we need to talk about. We don't need to talk about that they grabbed her hair and all that. Okay, she was... A t you know... I don't want to talk okay. about that. She was attacked. And she was killed from blunt force trauma. And, um, you know, everyone was talking about it. It's been on the news here every day. But something that has not been released is that there's has been no arrest yet. Or no one is in custody. And every last one of them in that bathroom should be in jail. Yeah. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. I saw a screenshot that popped up on my timeline of the girl by her head. And that right there was like, I don't want to see no more of this. To know that this girl was in this bathroom getting beat up the way she was getting beat up and that the fight resulted in her dying. My aunt, I was with my aunt the day um, that the news had broke and later on that evening and my aunt said to me, she said, can you just imagine what her mother is going through right now? And that just broke my heart. I said, oh my God, you send your child off to school and then now your child is dead mm -hmm. over a boy. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy. Like these kids have Oh, oh boy. Like, come on. Like, it's not even, like, every last one of them that were in that bathroom that had part in that fight should be in jail. All of them. I don't care. Every last one of them. Because if I'm the parent of a child who I sent to school and my child is no longer living due to a fight, 
I want everybody in that bathroom to go to jail. Okay? If they're not going to go to jail, then I should have the right to whoop <laughs> every last one of their asses. Line them up. Let me fuck them up. There's no reason why they should not be in jail. Every last one of them. I don't care. Every last one of them. Every last one of them who fought, who hit that girl, who kicked that girl. If you had a part in that fight, you should be in jail. The lookout should be in jail. Why? Because you looked out rather than helping. You looked out rather than going to go get help or breaking it up. They all should be in jail. Point. Everybody right want to be like this. Oh yeah, because bitch, we want to put this it's not on funny. Facebook. It's not funny. Star. This is exactly where this video. It's is not funny go. at all. It's and it's funny. really true that when you get to a certain age, that fighting stuff becomes really old to you. You know what I mean? We were having this conversation at work the other day, and I have a coworker who was fighting this at the third. And my boss said, you know, like, how old are you? And I know it made the, my coworker feel this small, but my boss was this serious, like, like, you're too old to be out there fighting, and you have kids. Why are you doing that? You know what I mean? Like, a lot of us got one, but you, you need to realize that when you get to a certain age, that stuff becomes real. <coughs> it does. Now, I will defend myself. I will defend myself. But me just going out there looking for a fight and trying to fight you over something petty because of a guy. Like, first of all, if I'm dating someone and the person that I'm dating is cheating on me, whatever the case may be, you can have them. I don't want them. And I don't want to fight you over them. Because whether, which, whether I win or you win, at the end of the day, I'm still not going to take them back. So you can have them. There's no need for me to fight. There's no need for me to fight. It's just a waste of time. Like at a certain age, when you get to a certain age, all that fighting stuff becomes real, real dead. Real fast. You be like, oh my God, these kids are out there fighting? About nothing? And nowadays, you can't even fight no more because people are killing you. I mean, they're what killing you. Man. They're either stabbing you, they're shooting you, they are killing you. Like it's crazy. It's crazy and it's senseless. It really is, and it's very unfortunate, and I really do feel bad for that girl's parents. I really do, because you send your child to kid school, you don't think that something like this is going to happen, and then you get a phone call saying that your child is dead. Like, come that's on. That's a phone call from nobody, man. Like, come on. Like, that's... Everybody should be in jail, and everybody should have their ass wound. In jail. Yeah. Just line it up. Just line it up. Let's let's whoop everybody's ass. Since you want to whoop on this child's ass, I'm gonna whoop on your ass. Then I seen a video that allegedly one of the girls that was a part of the attack, she got jumped, and at some event they was at, all her classmates jumped that girl. And oh, you know, retaliation. Yeah, retaliation is gonna be a bitch. They mm -hmm. wanna really. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if I were y'all and I was in that bathroom, I just wouldn't show my face. I would just wait for them to arrest me, because it's gonna come out this week who was a part of it them being arrested, but just stay out of the harm's way because people will attack you and maybe get you back and kill you. Mm -hmm. And it's just, these children, they really need to go to school and go to school to learn. And that's the problem with a lot of these children that we discuss and talk about, like, most of these children cannot count, they can't spell, and they can't read, or they only could just do a little bit just to get by, and then they're passed on because there's no child left behind shit. But these children need to stay in the grades until they get it right. And, you know, I really feel, I feel bad for the parents of Amy. Um, he was on TV and he was just, you know, I don't know how he could be, so, he was so calm talking because I don't think I could be that calm mm -hmm. if I lost a child or if anything ever happened to my nieces, you know, going to school. But these children, y'all really need to wake up and like really pay attention to what's going on. And I blame, it's not just the children, it's the parents. Parents, y'all have to do a much better job than what y'all do. And I know it might be hard, but you just have to do a better job than what you're doing. I still don't even know how my mom made things work. But we not out, we not none of us ain't out here doing no crazy shit. Like, my mom always laid down the motherfucking law at her house at that time. Now she's a little bit lenient to a lot of stuff. But back in the day, ain't shit. You couldn't get by doing anything. And that's what's going on. These parents are not, they're not doing that. It's just like, a lot of these, I can't even, I don't even want to talk about them. It just it's makes sad. me mad. It's it sad. really makes me mad. And I'm glad I don't have any children because if I had children and these children were doing this to my children, it would just be a mm -hmm. big problem. Mm -hmm. It would be a really big problem. 
these parents, y'all really gotta step your fucking game up because we are these this generation, this new generation will be taking care of us. And if you're teaching them how to be animals, they're gonna treat us like we're animals and continue to act like animals, but they're adults. And I have no respect for life, no respect for the elders, just no respect for themselves. Nobody. No respect for nobody. So we, we really gotta get on the ball. And I and you know what's interesting, and I don't mean to, you know, I'm not talking about anybody, but you know what's interesting when I post pictures of different with me and different seniors and I see comments when people say, Oh, I just love the way, you know, you you know, you are with the seniors this and the third. Well, you know what, well, thank you, but this is how I was raised. And I wasn't raised, you know, this is how I was, was raised to respect my elders. You know what I mean? That's how I was raised. So it's not a front or a put on. That's just how I was raised. First of all, I was raised by strong people. Not just my mother and father, but everybody in my family. Okay, I have aunts and uncles that I love dearly, and I can't wait until May 15 for family and friends day so we all can be in our, you know. But anyway, I, you know, that was just a plug right there. But yes, like I was raised by some amazing people, and my mom and my aunts and uncles were all raised by amazing people. My grand, you know what I mean? My father was raised by his grandmother. I mean, we were just all raised by some amazing people. And if you don't raise your children, to be amazing, then you won't get amazing kids. You'll get kids that you're running, ripping and running the street, back and forth to the jail, trying to bail them the hell out every day. I know my mother and father are happy that they didn't have to run back and forth to the jail for me and my sister. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't even want to know what the, the only, well, I did know what the inside of the jail looked like that one time two years ago, but that was because I got stuck in the snow mm. over there in Jersey. I ain't sleep inside no jail cell. They had me sleeping in the lobby of the jail, but still. That's that was as far as I was going. Good. Yeah, that probably was another wake up call. Why not to go to jail? I mean, I would never go. To jail. Yes, can you imagine that? Mm -mm. No, I'm like, well, can you send me some? Kind I of can't scene? imagine being in jail, Hell, sleeping on the bed this no. long. Hey, don't don't come from my bed. What's <laughs> that twin? Yes, it is. It's very comfortable. Now, if I do this show, I could have a full size bed. I don't need no king size bed. I mean, full size is okay. I had a full size, sorry, but it's extra. Better than you, but I don't do that here. So, okay. see, I love my queen size bed. I have a queen size bed. I love it. Um, I don't think I would ever get a king. I probably would get a king, but I don't think I would ever get a king only because of the fact that a king is really, really big. big. It's like really big. It takes and I know when I go to when I stay at hotels out of out of town, you know, whatever case may be, I'll say a king size room, bed, you know, room, and you get in the bed at the hotels and you be like, oh my god, it's so big. Like it's so but it's comfortable as well. It's fun. comfortable, but you're like, oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> like, this is a lot of bed. Especially when you don't have a dinner made that. Well, listen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's end it just like that. We're gonna end it just like that. Wait. Because when I go to every city, I don't never mind. And like you ain't like how you used to be. I'm gonna like bright like That's not how I never was. You ain't never known me to get You ain't <laughs> never known me to have somebody in my bed that was so. Look, I'm not going to say nothing. Cause yeah, you don't say nothing because you know. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, you no. Know wait, 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 wait. You, how does that go from about him to about me? He has trying to target, bitch. <laughs> What's that guy name? <laughs> wait, you go to every single. <laughs> he turned it. But listen. He turned it. He did. He tried it. But not, enough for that. That's all. Yeah, enough for that. That's I couldn't even defend you. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, it's true. Okay. All right. <laughs> Gavin. Uh, I mean, I could have missed yeah, my I mean, listen. I was my fun. six inch day. Let me tell you something. My pastor said, he said, listen, <laughs> when we was going, people talk about, oh, sin was bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad when you was doing it. Sure. Okay. And a lot of people what? like to point the finger. Yeah. The same way. Let me tell you something. I love it when my pastor makes that reference. Sin was good. When you was all up in that sin, it was good. Because it wasn't bad. When you was doing it, you ain't think about it being bad. Hell, I know I wasn't. Yeah. Well, today is primary day. Um, <laughs> this video will probably be up after everything, but I yes. hope y'all took your asses to the April polls. the 26th. If you yes. live in Pennsylvania, I think Maryland, Connecticut, um... It's five states I don't remember. Yeah, it's five, but 
make sure you find out what state. But I know it's Pennsylvania, Maryland, Connecticut, um, two other states. I'm not for sure. I don't know if it's Virginia or whatnot. But they're, they're mostly states, I think, on the East Coast. But whatever the case may be, you should know if your state is voting on April the 26th. Please make sure you get out there and vote. Make your voice heard. Yes. Because we want to make sure that someone like Donald Trump is not the next president of the United States, okay? So please make sure you make your voice heard. And shout out to Hillary Clinton because I see she is all the way up there in delegates and super delegates. Shout out to Bernie Sanders too because he is... Shout out to both Hillary and Bernie because despite what's going on on the Republican side, Bernie and Hillary have been debating, but they've been debating with issues and they've been going back and forth and it has not gotten to the point with where the Republicans were just being... Just all kinds of dumb. You know what I mean? Bernie and Hillary were have been going at it, but they've been going at it on issues and topics and policies and all that other but stuff. But Bernie getting ready to show his ass because he wanted some of Hillary's super delegates. Well, so yeah, he does. But you know, them, but I think he's just, just like Hillary that is doing very well in Pennsylvania. She's also doing very well, I think, in Maryland as well. So I mean, yeah, I you think know, Hillary's Hillary, been quiet here. Like I think I see a commercial here and there. Right. But I think it would be a huge upset if she was to win all of these five states tomorrow. Oh, he, he ain't got um, a flat screen. He might win Delaware. I don't know. He may even win Connecticut. He's not going to win Pennsylvania. As, no, I don't know. Not even Barack Obama won Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she won that, remember? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I voted for her. Yeah. They're going to get me together, bitch. Y'all always do. But anyway. Oh, that's right. that's <laughs> Yeah. When she's I, Hillary Rodham Clinton, <laughs> do solid square, they'll be still trying to get us together. Look, yeah, but it better be Hillary Sanders. I would even take Kasich, but I don't want Trump. Kasich needs to drop out as of yeah, but you know ago. him and Cruz, they working yeah. on these little this little plan. <laughs> to they are trying to make can. sure that Donald Trump is not the next president of the United oh! States. I mean, they are working mm. to make sure this and poor Trump. Well, I can't say poor Trump, but you know Donald Trump. When things are working in his favor, everything is going fine. But when it's not, then, oh, everything's rigged. Everything's rigged. And Hillary is, has turned her attention from Bernie Sanders onto Donald Trump. And she's got her commercials ready. And I've seen Donald Trump commercial. And his eyes are not even open in the commercial. Like, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> like, what? Y'all look at the video. And he's talking about him running for president. But Donald Trump, honestly, he doesn't even need to buy ads because his name Trump. is a standalone. And he's going to get press anyway. But anyway, y'all make sure y'all vote April 26th, which is tomorrow or today. Because that's when the video is up. Make sure y'all check that out. Thank y'all for watching the videos. We will be back on Thursday and Friday with the new video. If you went to the tour, let us know <coughs> how the tour was. And you know what tour I'm talking about. Information. Yes, so we'll Miami. see y'all in a couple days. Bye. Oh, my God.